This is the GED review video for linear equations. The last thing we're going to talk about is systems of linear equations. That's when you have two equations with two variables and you need to find the x and the y that works in both of them. And there's several ways that we can do this. The first way is linear combination. So here we have negative 3x plus y equals negative 3 and x plus 2y equals 8. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of the equations and multiply it by some number so that if we add the two equations together, either our x's will disappear or our y's will disappear. Okay, here I have a negative 3x, so if I wanted the x's to disappear, I would need this to be a positive 3x because negative 3 plus a positive 3 is 0. So I'm going to take my second equation, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. Now my other option would have been to say, well if I have 2y here, I can make this so that I have a negative 2y on top. That would also work. But we're going to try and get rid of our x's. So our first equation is going to stay the same. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times 8 is 24. So now if I add these two together, negative 3x plus 3x is 0, y plus 6y is 7y, and negative 3 plus 24 is 21. And if I divide by 7, I get a y equal to 3. And now all you need to do is choose one of your equations, it doesn't matter which. Okay, we can say x plus 2y equals 8, we'll use the second one. We're going to sub the y that we just got into that equation. So x plus 2 times 3 equals 8, which is really x plus 6 equals 8. One step equation, we subtract 6 from both sides and x equals 2. So x equals 2 and y equals 3 is the solution to this system of equations. You might also see it written as an ordered pair where your x is the x coordinate and the y is the y coordinate. Here we have the same system of linear equations but we're going to figure out our solution by using substitution. Now substitution means you're going to take one of your equations and get one of the variables by itself on its own. And then you're going to take that and plug it into the other equation. Okay, it doesn't matter which one you do. Let's use the bottom one for now. So if we want x by itself, that means this 2y has to get over here. So we would subtract 2y. We get x by itself. And now we can't combine these because they aren't like terms, so it's just negative 2y plus 8. So now we're going to take our other equation, and we're going to take what we just got and stick it in for the x. So negative 3 times negative 2y plus 8 plus y equals negative 3. This gives you 6y minus 24 plus y equals negative 3. Combine our y's together. So 7y minus 24 equals negative 3. We can add 24 to both sides. 7y equals 21. We can divide by 7 and y equals 3. We then need to plug this back in so we can find our x. So 2 times 3, x plus 6 equals 8, subtract 6, and x equals 2. Okay, finally we can do this by graphing. Now I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about graphing here, so if you need to please watch this separate video on graphing linear equations. 
So to graph these, I first need to put them in slope-intercept form. So my first equation, okay, to get y by itself, I add 3x to the other side. So y equals 3x minus 3. That's in slope-intercept form. So this tells me the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is at negative 3. The number in front of the x tells me the slope. So I'm going to start at that y-intercept and use a slope of 3, which means 3 up, 1 to the right. 3 up, 1 to the right. Okay, and then I'm going to connect them like so. For my other one, I need to subtract x from both sides. 2y equals negative x plus 8. And then dividing by 2 means that we would have negative 1 half x plus 4. Intercept at positive 4. Our slope is negative 1 half. So starting here, that means I'm going to go 1 down, 2 to the right. 1 down, 2 to the right. And connect my points. And if we look at where they intersect, the point they intersect at is 2, 3, which means that is the solution to the system of equations.